Hello, welcome to the service of morning prayer for Thursday the 8th of April 2021. Uh, for this service, uh, you'll need to have a Bible of your own because its essence is uh, to give us a framework in which we can read God's word for ourselves and ask ourselves what he's saying to us uh, through the pages of scripture. And so you'll need to put me on pause uh, while you do that from time to time. So I hope you've got uh, the video remote uh, if I'm on a video at the far side of the room so that you can pause me and listen to God. Let's ask God to speak to us uh, by his presence in our hearts and on our lips at the outset of our time with him. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Our opening hymn chosen for us by Stephen Craven today is Christopher Idle's uh, song uh, on uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 12 to 20. If Christ had not been raised, uh, then uh, various things would have been futile, but the truth is that he has been raised and therefore we can rejoice. Uh, in the book this is set to the tune Kingsfold, uh, but Christopher tells me that he actually wrote it uh, for this tune, uh, Vox Delecti, which of course has a mournful first half and then a glorious second half. <laughs> If Christ had not been raised from death, our faith would be in vain. Our preaching but a waste of breath, our sin and guilt remain. But now the Lord is risen indeed, He rules in earth and heaven, His gospel meets our world in need, in Christ we Christ still lay within the tomb, then death would be the end. And we should face our final doom with neither guide nor friend. But now the Saviour is raised up, so when a Christian dies, we mourn, yet look to God in hope, in Christ the saints are right. Christ had not been truly raised, his church would live a lie. His name should never more be praised, his words deserve to die. But now our great Redeemer lives, through him we are restored. His word endures, his church revives in Christ our The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Please pause this video as you pray yourself. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The Psalms set for today are Numbers 114 and 148, and again, if you've only got time to focus on one of them, then 114 is the one to focus on. Here's a sung version of it. When Israel came up out of Egypt, uh, the land itself got very excited. <laughs> Sea looked and fled, the Jordan turned back, and the mountains and the hills they rejoiced. 
rejoiced in God the Lord. Yes, tremble, O us, at his presence. Yes, dance to the Lord, yes, and sing. To God who makes rocks flow like water. God who turns dry ground to a spring. Sing glory to God, to the Father. And glory to God, to the Son. And glory to God, to the Spirit. Glory to the Three in One. He set his people free. He gave them the land. And now he blesses us with his open hand. And in these latter days he gives us everything. So we'll give him back our praise. And to him we'll die. And you might like to pause the video and focus on those two psalms that are in your own Bible. The Old Testament readings set for this week are from the Song of Songs, the Song of Solomon. Uh, and today uh, the passage in question is chapter 5 verse 2 through to chapter 6 verse 3. Uh, but you can read all of chapters 5 and 6 uh, if you'd like to do so. Please pause the video and read that now. Love is a sacred thing uh, and the relationship that there can be between two people uh, is a pointer uh, to the relationship that there can be between us and our God if we'd like to have it. You might like to respond to the Old Testament reading by using the canticle from Exodus chapter 15. And if you do want to do, now is the time to pause the video and do it. And the New Testament reading for the next three days uh, focuses on different stories of Jesus raising people to life. And today uh, it's the son of the widow of Nain in Luke chapter 7 verses 11 to 17. Please pause the video and read that in your own Bible. Praise be to God who has given us the wonderful news of new life. Uh, I thought I shortchanged yesterday's Bible reading a little bit by saying that the focus wasn't on what Jesus said so much that he said it. Uh, well, the focus, of course, is on both of those things. So here's a song that takes up what Jesus was saying about going to all the world and lo, I am with you always to the end of the age. Go forth and tell by Jim Seddon. Go forth and tell, O Church of God, awake, God saving Saviour, Lord and King, that all the world His worthy praise may sing. Go forth and tell, God's love embraces all. He will in grace respond to all who call. How shall they call if they have never heard the gracious invitation of His Still in darkness lie In wealth and want In sin they live and die Give us, O Lord, concern of heart and mind A love like yours which cares for all mankind Go forth and tell The doors are open wide Share God's good gifts Let no one be Christ your Lord shall choose your ransom powers for his so glory use. Go forth and tell, O Church of God, arise. Go in the strength which Christ your Lord supplies. Go till all nations. 
nations his great love adore and serve him Lord and King forevermore. And so let's pray, let's express ourselves to God and let's ask God to help us in our needs. Our Heavenly Father, we give you our thanks for the truth of the resurrection, uh, for the truth of, of the fact that Jesus is with us forever, of the fact that the difference that it makes, uh, as expressed by Paul in his letter, and as expressed by Christopher Idle in his hymn. Grant that we may be continually encouraged by the resurrection of Jesus, uh, to look on the bright side of things, knowing that what we do is not in vain. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, we thank you for the good things about relationships between people uh, which can be found in delight and tenderness. Help us also to find that th with you, through Jesus. Help us to take care to deepen and strengthen our knowledge of you, that we might grow more in your love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please pause the video and put before God the things which are on your own heart at the moment. One of the collects for Easter, the special prayer for this week. God of life, who for our redemption gave your only begotten Son to the death of the cross, and by his glorious resurrection delivered us from the power of our enemy. Grant us so to die daily to sin, that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his risen life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And please join us in praying the Lord's Prayer as Jesus taught. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may the grace and strength of our Lord Jesus Christ be with us evermore. Amen. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.